All right, hello everyone, welcome back to Pathologic. I've got my mic in a different place. Hopefully the sound quality is a bit better. Last time we talked to Isidore Brock and, um, why do I always call him that? It's Stock Rubin. And, uh, okay, there you go. It is today's quest. We need to find uh, young Brock. And he's going to be uh, somewhere that the Olgimskis know. So the first step is squeezing his location out of the Olgimskis, which is going to be fun as always. One thing I will say here as just something to comment on while we're getting started. The fact that his name is Brock, like I know it's like... I'm guessing a traditional Russian name, like a lot of the names in here, I think, I'm assuming, are. But it always makes me think of Obama, and <laughs> I don't know, I don't really have anywhere I'm going with this. It's just it's an interesting connection. And right, uh, Big Vlad's right here. I wonder if we'll have to, we may have to go talk to, Oops, I may mean, go off to talk to young Vlad behind his back, but we'll see how this goes first off. And there's my man. Why are my, children this? my girl has grown up. I pray she survives this hell. Do you know where Brock is hiding? That's a weird, that's a wild thing to say, that last option. Oh, I thought you two didn't really get along. Are you looking for him? Yes, I sorely need to find him. I don't know if it, revealing that to him is a good idea, but I feel like being direct is the better option usually. I mean, we can always reload if I made a mistake. Then you'll be most unhappy to learn that he's been seized on Sabarov's order. orders. I was informed by Laura Ravel about it. A witness of Barak's arrest came by to her place. Seized? Why? A groundless suspicion. Many innocent people were arrested and thrown into the dungeons of the town hall last night. Barley and his barbers caused quite a stir yesterday, a mission which I did not complete. A stir that made quite an hmm, impression on Sabrov. I wonder if you complete that mission, if it um, this doesn't happen, I... I don't know. And so he resorted to harsh punitive measures. Everything goes exactly as expected. This is his first step towards autocracy. What is Brock being accused of? I don't know, but I have absolutely no doubt that it's a false accusation. Artemy has been accused of every possible villainy lately. They call him the Ripper. They cry bloody murder while he works his fingers to the bone trying to save us all. But no one cares about it at all. I'll demand that Sabrov let him go. Give it a try, dear doctor. Artemy deserves it. Even if he's taken it upon himself to break a law or two, we need him alive. Perhaps if you vouch for him, the fierce Sabrov will let him go. Oh, what a grave mistake it was to grant him full authority. Your mistake, Doctor. I'll do my best. We won't argue with them. And these are on the other... yeah. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to be haggling with... Uh, what's his face instead? So, that's fun. All right, we're here in uh, Sabarov. So you can notice behind a pole there for a second. It was a bountiful night. You did really well last night. They say you've erect, arrested Brock. Is that true? Absolutely. The vel that villain was seized as well. Like I said, the night was bountiful. The patrolman killed more than fifty armed thugs. I don't know why I said it's so weird. Fifty more were arrested. Soon they're going to be tried by our military court. Was Brock caught red-handed? If he was caught red-handed, he would have been executed on the spot, just like anyone else who was caught in the act. There's a whole lot of accusations against him, though. Mark Karminsky will expose his crimes easily. Let Brock go, Governor. He must help me with fulfilling my duties. Never. Brock is accused of a dozen murders at least, including his father's, violation of sacred customs and desecration of the dead. He's the most dangerous criminal of all who have appeared in the town in these horrible days. I won't ever I won't ever let him out even if you vouch for him. Where do you keep him? Why do you ask? I need his expert advice. I'm sorry, Bachelor, but you've managed to find out who murdered Simon without examining witnesses or seeing the crime scene, or even inspecting the body. 
Which makes me sure you can do without that savage's advice this time as well. I wish you the best of luck. Fine then, I'll find another way. Did I... Um... Did I do it wrong? Oh, that showed up on the map. I mean... Well, give it a look, if nothing else. I mean, I guess she's like a fortune teller. She might have more... Um, invested in the survival of the town. It made a weird sound when I finished, though. I wonder if I just, like, failed the dialogue tree. We'll find out. I'll save in a different slot. Hey, you creepy woman. Matchmakers are coming. Trying to woo me. Oh. I'm getting a feel that the wheel of my fortune has finally touched me. Please convince your spouse to set Artemy Brock free. He was arrested on a false accusation. I mean, we don't know if it was false, but we, we he, he needs to be free right now. This cannot be. I do not dare to interfere with my husband's decisions. Don't you care about Brock? Of course I do. I dislike this man. If my intuition doesn't fail me, he's bound to cause much grief to our town. I know that my intuition is correct. My star has finally ascended. I've never sensed the threads of, future, of the future as clearly as I do these days. Yet you've foretold my death, the death that I have safely avoided. Have you now? I'm alive. I don't know, it's very unclear. Sometimes people consider themselves alive when they're already corpses. I don't think I have to dispute the obvious. Okay, thank you. Is that it? Am I just... did I just... Fail? I'm guessing I just failed the dialogue tree. Oh, that's something as well. Yeah, there is that. I just noticed. I mean, that's why we look around, I guess. So, we'll go try that. I'll save on a different slot, though, just in case there is a way to navigate the uh, dialogue with Alexander, but... Like, I don't see much room for changing the category. Can you get out of the way? Cloud. Well, I guess I'll just squeeze around it. But maybe it is one of those things where you just have to like... Where they set you up to fail and then you just have to like navigate around it. Okay, well if nothing else, we'll go to the shelter here and we'll see what progress we can make. There's supposed to be a patrolman here. Is there going to be a new, uh... Map? Or is it... A patron? Not a patrolman. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, Lara will tell me. So we're still alive. How very strange. Lara, please tell me. Is, this, is the man who witnessed Brock's arrest still here? You mean the harpist? He's dead. Did he tell you where they took Brock? He saw them escort him, nothing more. It was by the rail bridge. He was seized by Sabarov's patrolmen. There were three of them, and yet they barely managed to keep him under control. When they were crossing the embankment, Brock broke loose, so they knocked him to the ground. The harpist said that he also thought back then that they wouldn't be able to take him anywhere far, and then he felt sick. Mm, I don't know which one to go with. All of these are potentially important pieces of information, but I'll go top down. Hopefully, they just give me everything. I, give me a chance to learn everything I need to know in the dialogue path. Why are the Sabras doing that? Or I think that's the most relevant. Do you know where Barack was staying at recently? 
Somewhere in a suburban area in Earth. As far as I understood, the place all is industrial. I suspect the termitary, but that's obviously impossible. Somewhere at the works, perhaps? Try your luck there. Are there 11 quarters in the, at the works? I don't know, I've never been there. Although, Isidore did have a hideout or a secret lab at the works. I remember him complaining that he was too old to climb over the embankment, the embankment 10 times a day and that railroad noise could be rather distracting. Thank you, Lara. Now I know where to look for Brock. Okay, do they mark it? No. Uh, does it? Okay. Somewhere in the works. I'll save here. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the intended path. Like, I know you can fail dialogue things. I've done it before, certainly, but is he going to be in one of these then? Yeah, this is the works here, so it's going to be one of those. Actually, let me reload. I don't know if time passed. No, it doesn't pass when I'm looking at my map. Yeah, he's going to be in somewhere in here. I mean, this one is suspiciously red, so maybe that's a hint, but... Definitely somewhere in there. So now we get to go back across the bridge and then work our way down. Oh, you ready for this? I just saved a little while ago, like a couple seconds ago, so this should be... Oh, okay, yeah, cool. I didn't get infected though, which is fine, but I will still reload just for the sake for the sake of it. So yeah, now we gotta fight rats before we can get down there, which is gonna be fun and useful. Fighting a rat with knife I mean I guess that would be pretty hard in real life, wouldn't it? Okay, there's the other rat. Yeah, I gotta figure this out. I mean, I'll practice on the other rat, too. There's like a certain distance. Alright, I'll get my knife out. Go forward. Go back. <clears throat> look down. I think it's gonna get about there. Not quite. Uh, oh, alright. Alright, cool. Good. And we're gonna, This is gonna take a while. I don't know how much of my recording length this is going to take, but uh, it's part of the game. Part of the game. Hopefully I'll leave in my opening run, but I don't know how many tries it's going to take. Alright, that's one rat down. I'm going to save before I fight the next rat, because that's how it's, it is in this game. There we go, look at that. Perfect timing. We have successfully beaten two rats in only like five attempts. I wonder how hard it would be in real life to like fight a rat with a scalpel. I mean, fighting a regular rat's hard enough as it is, but if it has a scalpel, you know, it's, it's fast and it's dangerous. But yeah, alright, we'll try, um, we'll look around here in Earth. I should maybe resave because it's not plaguey down here. So it's, you know, that we've made it, it'd be nice to preserve that. And, alright, let's look, like I said, I really think, you know, red means there's an important person there. This one's red. I don't know how to get in to it, I don't think. But I mean... What time is it? It's 2, 2 p.m. Alright, we'll see... Um, is there anything going to flash here? Is this a door? Like, it's not flashing like a door. I'm hearing moves and machine sounds. 
Always a fun combo. There's the door. We'll save outside this. Once again, tree new building. I'm kind of afraid it's locked. Okay, that's cool. It's gotta be one of these though, right? I guess we just check every door on earth. I mean, the fact that there's a whole setup to get from this building to the other is kind of suspicious though, right? Or and to get from this one to that one. So maybe it's even in... I'll check this building for a door first and see if there's anything going on there, but it might be even... Is this gonna be locked? Okay, I'm afraid. I'm going to immediately leave and then I'm gonna save outside. And I'm gonna check my recording. Okay, we'll look around a little bit in here. There's a patrolman though, I see. Or two. And there's a man. Hello, officer. No trespassing. Don't know why you even that voice. I'm not a trespasser. It's a passerby. What about you? Are you by chance an infamous dangerous offender? Are we gonna fight him? Oh, uh, one of these is gonna work, the other two are not. Also, this man's eyes are very piercing blue. This one, there's no way that works, right? That seems... That actually, that seems most likely. Like, I feel like if they wanted him in Town Hall... ...that badly, they would've put him, them, they would've put him there first. So, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm pretty confident kind of I brought to the governor's office. If that's where the case, people of lower rank and heavier build would've come. I Maybe I should have my gun out. We know who you are, Doctor. You are kindly joking, aren't you? I'm not. Bring the prisoner here. I was strictly ordered by Go Governor Sabrov to guard the prisoner with my life. That was a special order to you. If the prisoner dies at the sand pest, we ain't supposed to bury him or give his body to the undertakers. We're to inform the Governor in person and wait further instructions. Don't you think it's a bit too strict? Strict my ass. We put almost 70 people behind bars yesterday on suspicion, of course. Killed loads of folks, too. Must have been thugs and cutthroats when we've killed. I've heard their thug friends are all up in arms planning to take revenge on us, but they're out of men and out of luck. Is that so? I think you'd better stay alert, kind sir. The underground world has its ways of keeping its real power disguised. Oh? Oh, we gotta get Grief's help. Okay, well, we didn't immediately try to kill each other, which is good for me. I'm hoping it's the right path. I'm kind of I don't like that they replay the uh, sound effect. How do I get out of here? So yeah, we'll go talk to Bad Grief. I might um. Go to his house and save outside, and then call an episode. I might not. I'm I'm having fun here. I'm gonna be honest. This is an enjoyable game when it's you know doing its thing. When you're not fighting rats and buying groceries. Like I I understand why they have those mechanics. I I do think they are important to have in, and the game is better for them, but. Sometimes when you're like in the moment going grocery shopping, it's not always as exciting as like solve seeing like the narratives of the various missions unfold. Okay, is there a more efficient way around? I cannot climb this. Is there really, do you just have to, okay, I don't think so. I was gonna say, do you really have to like walk all the way around and then come in through the other way? But I don't think so. I think they just wanna make you work for it a little. All right, yeah, we'll talk to Bad Grief. 
Sick dance moves, my man. And then we'll call it an episode. Have we, in this current continuity, have we done his intro dialogue? Well, the usual is a no, we have not. Just nailed Bali down. We've <laughs> been through that yeah. so many times. I won't read it. Many a once is ill that sleeps well. Grief, how would you like to kill a few patrolmen? You won't be held accountable for this sin. Who's to guarantee me that? You? Me. Eh, so what? I mean, I'd like to. I would, Doc. Like I'd ever pass on the chance. But eh, the honey's sweet, but the bees sting. Them patrol and bees are much worse than them worker bees, you know? They hit hard without a shred of pity. Organized, too. They shall us no mercy. They won't. Their orders are... We deserve no mercy. We deserve being strangled, exterminated, and buried alive. I need your help. Set Brock free. I'll cover you. This is the dear price of... This is a dear kind of help, dear doc. It won't come cheap. Name your price then. Like, like I could ever expect anything else from you. 10,000, doc. I'm doing you a favor here. This is just half the sum. I'll pay the rest of my own pocket. Human life comes kind of cheap these days, don't you agree? I'll get back at you when I have the sum. Can we talk him out of it? Like, how how much did I spend? Like, the, so what we could do, like, I did get that money from the hunchback. So it would be easy enough to just, um... Like, redo what we've done up to now, with the exception of not spending the money on groceries. And, like, I don't think I even need it in that, in that sense. Like... Hopefully, I, I didn't get it in my first playthrough and I was fine, but... You know what? Actually, I'm not gonna... I will retry the dialogue tree next time to see if we can avoid it. If not, we might have to redo from like the start of our grocery run up to our current progress without buying any groceries. Which like I said, I don't think it'll be too big of a problem in terms of our resources. It'll be a problem in terms of like pacing these videos and that kind of thing. But I mean, kind of comes with the territory, you know? So but we'll see if we can worm our way out of it. If not, I'll look forward to that in a future episode. And for now, as always, thank you for watching.